Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. I'm using Greg Scott's tarot for our reading today. I'll choose three cards, read the base of the pack and I'll also choose one from the gods, goddesses and angels as well for some extra guidance as we're moving through these immense times and this light is very, very high vibrational and we'll be bringing up old energy that we have not healed, disowned parts of us that we aren't loving. So during this time, find space for ourselves to just sit and be and to detach from the outside world, even if it's just for 10 minutes. That 10 minutes is equivalent to a, a good night's sleep when we're quietening our head, allowing our body to relax, just coming into that place of peace. And if our head does start to come in with some negative chatter, take a deep breath, and breathe this beautiful golden light in through your crown and just see those thoughts dissolving and focus on the golden light and in that golden light there are light codes symbols that are coming through to raise our vibration to bring us into beautiful alignment with our soul purpose and our soul purpose is different to everyone else's so when we are trying to do the same as others then we know it's it's not authentic so finding that authenticity within that is our treasure that is what we have come here to find and to share so i'm setting the intention for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video a card has just flown out there so i'll read it at the end of the reading and i'm just being drawn to messages coming through of of come back come back from from worrying about the future come bring yourself back into this moment this energy is causing some instability and we've been moving through this instability for quite some time now and and when we bring ourselves back into this moment and feel peace within this moment then things start to settle and we, we feel the stability so if we move if, if our head is taking us into the future with confusion our worry take a deep breath and bring it back bring ourselves back into this moment this is where the beautiful gifts from the cosmos the, the light codes, the activations are occurring and our shadow side will want to escape that. It, it wants to go back into what it knows we want, with the worry and trying to, to, to solve problems in our heads before we're even at that place of where we have to make any kind of decision. So just spending time in this light, opening up, this light is, is food for our soul. It's, it's divine substance for our soul. And will bring motivation and energy for us to achieve what we're here to achieve. Uh, in our head, when we go off in our head and start to run things over in our head that create a, a feeling of fear or anxiety that depletes our life force energy and that is that start that is it starves our spirit so this is a time of opening up allowing this spiritual essence to feed us to nourish our souls to nourish our hearts there we are the knight of pentacles so again, if there's any finances there, you can see there that the shadow is speaking. She's counting her uh, pennies. She's counting her coins there and going into that place of uh, maybe fearful of, of spending or fearful of not having enough. 
so when we make money an object it becomes an object and it's an object that we cling on to when we realize that as we give that and and it then starts to make its way to us as we give we receive so wherever we are feeling that money's flowing away and we haven't got enough know that this is the shadow side within us our fear of loss of our finances of even our well-being because when we start focusing on finances and it falling away and flowing away and we're coming into a place of worrying about it we go down into that vibration of of lack and we'll block finances we'll block abund divine abundance and prosperity flowing to us and it after a while it does start to affect our well-being and our state of mind so wherever this is occurring in our lives to be able to know that we are being divinely supported and as we walk forward in peace we will see opportunities opening up for us and this is the four of swords so we're going through some healing beautiful time of healing and two cards here the queen of cups and the moon okay so we have the, the knight of pentacles and in this this and in this card our shadow is speaking to us wanting to hoard money fearful of it disappearing and, and us going into that place of lack and this is a poverty consciousness that's coming up now a poverty consciousness that this light is bringing up within within us whether it is with with our finances relationship however it is affecting us what we value is coming to the surface and it's it's showing us where we are fear of losing it and where there is that fear and and i'm i'm getting the crystal uh ruby to hold some ruby to bring us into alignment and to allow these fears to dissolve in unconditional love and in unconditional faith so the ruby plays on our heart center our, our root to dissolve any any fears to do with what we're holding value to it could be our relationship it could be finances it could be our health so whatever we're worrying about whatever we worry about we create more of we, cre we create more dis discomfort within us within our bodies and all around us so it is to value what we've got to see how how abundant divinely abundant we are then we have the four of stars we're going through this purification and this light is bringing up poverty consciousness whatever it may be a a a um a, a spirit of lack whatever however this is coming this is a time of healing from that now so let go lose our grip on what we're holding on to for fear of losing it let's let, let that grip go because when we're old on that's that's how we try and force things that's when we're going to control from fear so we'll always be in that state of something where we are fixating on something for fear of it not working out right or people are not happy around us or however it may be affecting you take some time to come in to the healing and allow those cards those past lives 
this lifetime the ancestral womb of positive of poverty consciousness to dissolve into this light the queen of cups she's the mermaid and she's kissing the sailor there with her hand on his heart so it is to value our relationships to value everything that we have in our lives and the queen of cups is the oracle she she is guided by her intuition and her heart and is bringing life back into a sailor into her love life so this is a and, and Venus in retrograde and she's in retrograde for 40 days and 40 nights where we're going to be in our heart space letting go of this poverty positive poverty consciousness healing from it so that we can open our hearts and we can pour love in to our love partner into our romantic partner beautiful time of romance coming in and then we have the queen at uh, the moon that's come out and the moon is full we have a full moon on the on the first of august and this is the celebration of La lamas and a time of where we we do our fire ritual a perfect time to dissolve the poverty consciousness wherever it's playing out in our lives to really infuse our hearts with love and everyone that we come into contact with infuse and and really show love and appreciation and you know with this also this knight of pentacles where are we giving where are we giving from a place of misalignment where we are we may be giving and nothing is coming back so that is a poverty consciousness where we may be giving anything that it could be our wisdom and somebody's taken and taken and taken and then they there's no gratitude there there's no real appreciation and then they move away and without a thank you or they hold back from giving full gratitude so we are giving from a poverty consciousness which will affect us because when we see it happening it puts us in that place of of abandonment of not being good enough of being pushed to one side so being aware of that because this poverty consciousness is coming through in all different disguises so looking at where we are giving and giving and giving there's a change coming there a powerful change coming there with this healing that's coming through from the the galactic center and these these uh, high frequency this high frequency light that's coming through and then with the moon full moon in aquarius on the moss on the fire the, doing our fire rituals of burning and letting go of any poverty consciousness that we may have that whichever way shape or form it is presenting itself so giving our energy to someone and they're taking it and taking it and taking it and then at the end we are depleted to work on that to work on what is causing us to feel that we are having to give everything that we have to someone or, 
are into a situation that turns the back when everything's okay and doesn't even don't even get a second thought. So that will create a feeling within us, within us of isolation, of being abandoned. So lots of things coming up. We've got the Queen of, of Cups here, bringing the insights, bringing life back into us, bringing life back into our heart, into our being into our soul, helping us to transcend this poverty consciousness that is being brought up. And if we listen to the outside world as well, we can get drawn into that poverty consciousness because it's it's so loud at the moment of, of inflation and everything else that's happening to bring ourselves back into this heart space, bringing the divine masculine, the divine feminine back in, in alignment. Then we have this powerful, super full moon on the 1st of August that we're all now starting to feel because it's, it's close to earth. It's in Aquarius and it is the, the Lammas. So it, it's a time of a fire ritual. So whatever may be coming up, whatever this light is bringing up, this high frequency light is bringing up within us, to be able to really sit with it and, and see how certain situations in our lives are making us feel. And do some writing and burning on that, do some releasing on that, on this powerful full moon that we're moving into. So I'm asking for a message from the gods, goddesses and angels for some extra guidance to help navigate us through this immense light that we have. The angel of guidance, a renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. When we let go of any any fears that we may have and come into a place of peace we have a downpouring of guidance and the angel of guidance is stepping forward and bringing in a renewed sense of direction so when we cleanse and clear the poverty consciousness that we've all been programmed into we then see with clarity what it is that we love doing and it will be different from anyone else and to be able to stand strong in our own in our own gifts and know that when we start to move forward and share our gift that is when when we are sharing our gift that is when divine abundance flows into our lives and the base of the pack is the goddess of awakening we are going through a powerful and wondrous time of awakening awakening out of the sleep of poverty consciousness which on some level is collectively coming up at this time to come into that golden light, into the divine light, into what treasures we have within us, creating a beautiful awakening. Look at this light coming in, activating us all, awakening us, bringing us into that memory and remembrance of who we are. So this is a time of romance of creativity wonderful time so a time of healing that we're all going to be feeling on some level and that's okay being presented with issues that may put us in a place of fear or anxiety and if we go into battle with those fears outside of us then we lose 
when we go into healing and align ourselves and open ourselves up to this light, to this wondrous light and this wondrous time of awakening, we are being, we are being cleansed with divine fire. It's transmuting and transmuting those layers upon layers of old conditioning that we didn't realize were there until it's presented to us. So whether it is a, a, a belief in separation, we will create that in every single relationship. Whether it is a belief in poverty consciousness, whether we feel we're in a place of love and loss and never have enough, and as soon as money comes in, it goes out, and we're constantly in that place of imbalance and financial instability, then this light is coming in, and, and we will have situations around us that bring that into our consciousness to show us exactly how how we're feeling inside us to do with finances, our, our health, anything in this physical realm. We're being lifted into this time of awakening, beautiful time of awakening, and things dissolving now, things that we have not seen coming to the surface for us to see and understand and gain the wisdom of if I keep thinking and feeling this I'm going to carry on creating it and yes we all know we all know it but we're going to a deeper level of understanding it of actually living it now of unhooking releasing and allowing ourselves to come into that place of divine alignment that is occurring now and the card that came out with the seven of cups and you can see he's turned away he's looking up into the into the heavens there receiving his download not listening to what the the person is saying behind actually looking up and he has a smile on his face. He is receiving a beautiful downpouring of light. And we're being asked if there's all those options open to us. All those options are open to us. And whatever we choose, the, the universe will provide. And, and however we, and whoever we are, every, everyone else will adjust or not. And so this is, there's so many options open to us. Don't be going into fear about anything. The universe is bringing a hands full of gifts for us to be able to receive. And they come from the divine, they come from within, not outside of us through anyone else. So wonderful time. So if there's anything like that coming up for you, any fears, to do with our finances, with that poverty consciousness. If we've got fear of finances and we're constantly in that that instability with finances, bring ourselves back into alignment. Visualize a gauge within us coming back into center, bringing ourselves back into center and feel how we would feel with everything being with with our finances coming in and things are paid and there's more finances coming in how oh, peaceful that that the peace that that creates so coming into the peace of of prosperity not the fear of not having it so powerful even today we are all unique and we all all treasure within us this is there in that box that treasure treasure box is within us we don't need to scrimp and look outside of us when we come in we are coming into that divine source energy that then falls out of us and creates 
a beautiful life of ease and doing what we love doing because that's our gift if there's something that we love doing that benefits us and benefits everyone around us that is a unique gift for us to tap into and start sharing and as we share it that energy comes back in beautiful ways maybe not from where we we expect but it flows in so I'm sending so much love and thank you for listening. Thank you. Have a wonderful day of peace and opening up to this beautiful light and these activations that are occurring. Thank you.